Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matt Alvarez. And I'm Maggie Smolka. For half a century now, the nonprofit Strawberry Fields has been working to provide support for people with disabilities and their families. Guided by a dream of acceptance for all, they've grown from a farm to a foundation that provides a range of services, and one of them is Good Day Cafe. Our Peyton Kennedy joins us live now from State College. And Peyton, you got the chance to shadow employers this morning. Tell us about that. Well, Matt and Maggie, that's right. I got a behind the scenes look at Good Day's Coffee with a Cause, and I walked away with a delicious latte, but also feeling inspired. These employees love what they do. Take a look. Every day, Brooke Fisher walks into work at Good Day Cafe. Everything bagel with cream cheese. Got it. She says she's just so happy to be here. I love working at Good Day Cafe. Can I get a large latte, please? And Brooke knows she's making customers days too. Yeah, I make them happy. Good Day Cafe opened four years ago in response to the 80% unemployment rate for people with disabilities. And our hope was that we would be able to show the community the gifts that everyone brings to the table. Thank you, Jeff. The employees gain people skills. The individuals that work here benefit so much from the relationships and the friendships they develop with our customers. And technical skills. How do you make coffee? Do you like to bake? Do you like to cook? Those kind of things. It's a special sector of the nonprofit Strawberry Fields, which is celebrating their 50th anniversary. You can join the celebration by picking up a drink, I get a large decaf breakfast treat, or lunch at Good Day Cafe in State College. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. If there is one message Brooke hopes you remember, support Good Day Cafe. The cafe is open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Live in State College, Peyton Kennedy, WTAJ News.